Okay, so question number two from the practice paper of uh, P1 um, IAL, um, practice paper B. Here we have a question about integration. We have to integrate this expression and write down the answer in its simplest form. So what we have to integrate, I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to rewrite it in a form which is ready for us to integrate. So I'm going to integrate 2 over 3x cubed is fine. Oops, let me just put it a bit neater. 2 over 3x cubed minus, now this x term should be written in index form. So x to the power of a half instead of the square root of x plus 1. And all of that has to be integrated with respect to x. Don't forget the bracket. Now the next step, we're going to actually integrate it. So you're going to basically add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. Now once you've integrated it, once you started integrating it, you don't write the integral sign anymore and you don't write the dx anymore. Okay. So now you're going to have to add 1 to the power, so that's going to be 2 thirds. Oops, what am I doing? 2 thirds x to the power 4 divided by 4. So you divide by the new power. Minus 6 x to the power of, add 1 to a half gives you 3 over 2, divided by the new power, 3 over 2. And when you have a constant, like 1, it's going to be 1x. Okay? And then you have to always write plus c when it's an indefinite integral because they could have, remember, the reverse of this is differentiating. So when you differentiate a constant, it becomes zero. So if you're doing the opposite, there could have been a constant that was differentiated to become zero. So you have to write plus c called the constant of integration. Okay, that constant must be written down there. You normally write plus c. Okay, so now we're going to simplify this. You can see that the 2 and the 4 cancel out. So you're left with on top, um, you're left with basically 1 sixth of x to the power 4. And now what happens here is when you divide by a fraction, it means you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is like 6 times 2 over 3. Okay, 6 divided by 3 over 2 is 6 times 2 over 3. And they cancel out here. So you're left with 4 x to the power of 3 over 2 and you got plus x and plus c so there we have our answer for question number two pretty simple integra integration there okay one sixth x to the power of 4 minus 4 x to the power of 3 over 2 plus x plus c and there we have it